So, do you guys like towers with weird arbitrary spinning things in them? I mean, are you tired of that yet? Oh, oh, you are. Oh. Huh. The Hall of Coronation. When the time of well, came, good news? Question mark. That's not what we're doing today. We have a different flavor of band level design. Oh, I'm almost disappointed. But the past and the future in his hands. Well, that was a weird setup. Whatever. There you go. But yeah, we're actually moving on now. Yeah, so today we're doing the Coronation Hall, which is, I, I guess it's where, I mean, it's where you become the king, or some bullshit. That, that doesn't sound like a great notion for a place. I mean, does, do, they, do they just keep it closed off for like 99% of the time? Like, what? That's... That makes no sense. But have you considered that we have to go through more airborne pollution? I have not considered that, no. Say so someday, maybe, it will kill us. Maybe. Day will come, but it is not this day. I don't know, that's... Well, whatever. What actually is the deal with this place? Ready to be ambushed? It's a flight area? Sort of? If we can make the jump to that plate. Lady, have you been paying attention to the entire rest of the game up to this point? Anyway, it's cool that they hung up all these giant square things that serve no purpose except to block the flight path. That was some really alarming foresight. And then just for good measure, it drops you one jump short. almost a waste of the irony for it to fall on such a humorless people. Hey, that was almost actually funny. Maybe the concubine isn't quite as terrible as we thought. I shall take her place, queen of the aura, from light to darkness. And you, my brave little man, with me as queen, what of you? So she just really likes talking, huh? Hang on a sec, did, did we lose Crow? I was waiting for one of you to ask. I was gonna say, can we make it to five minutes without me saying a goddamn thing? But you just had to go and ruin it. I was, I did wonder. But yeah, so uh, this is a slide level. Oh boy, cause yeah, the, these aren't just a ton of fucking fun. They're your favorite. They can... they can be bad. So far, this one just seems kind of dull. Yeah, basically, welcome to a preview of Epilogue. Ugh. Oh boy, that just fills me with, uh, wonder. And hope. I don't want to be filled with hope. I can't be filled with hope, I don't have any hope left to give. I'm broken inside. Uh. Sometimes I surprise myself. Do those things include getting in fights? Let's get out of here. Because, you know, that was very implicit. Also, and here's Elica for no reason. Yep. Yeah, also, also all the corruption that was on this, uh, this little building here is gone now. Because, uh, and no shrug. They gotta gate you somehow, right? Yeah. It, it just gave up and went home. Uh, but now we get introduced to the, uh, the most dangerous obstacle of all. Bees! 
Oh god, not the bees! Not the bees! Well, that... that's quite something. But anyway, despite your claims, we are still climbing up a tower with occasional traces of weird machinery in it, so, you know... What, Arctic flat out lying about something? Why, I never... So I guess we're just being chased by... ...this thing, except... ...except then when we... It doesn't... It doesn't do anything as far as I can tell? Yeah, like, we just we just stood perfectly still for, like, five seconds. And it... Like, it, it it's one of those things where it looks like a threat, but it never actually does anything to you? Ugh. Ah, uh, good old psychological warfare. That's just so video games. And, like, I love the fact that, like, all the little tiny bees, like, gather to, like, swarm themselves to make them look the, like a much larger bee. It's like a bee made of other bees. Yo, dog, we heard you like bees, so we put bees in your bees so you can be while you be. I... I, I think I think that humor was almost good, but it fell a little bit short, so in summarize, I give it a B. Something, something, the B movie meme. Just let it be, man. Let it be. Yeah. Anyway, here's a fight. I, I recommend using gauntlet attacks to win this fight. Now, what would ever give you that impression? Well... Mostly the fact that, 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 that that's mapped to the B button. Oh god, you're right, it is. Come on, did, did none of you get that? Come on. I refuse to acknowledge it. That was that was incredible, and you both know it. So hey, here's a new here's a new trick. When uh she hits you with that little pink thing, that actually reverses your controls. Ah. I mean it doesn't. Like, it's, it's just, like, left and right, up and down. Like, it's not any of, like, the actual attack buttons or anything, but... That's, that's, that's lame. It should, there should be, a, there should be a bunch of variants of it. There should be one that rotates all of your, all of your buttons clockwise, and one that rotates anti-clockwise, and one that, like, flips them all over the middle. But yeah, that's, uh, that is the only new trick that she has here. Yeah, no, the, you've got to remember, Poodle, this is also, like mid slash late decade Ubisoft, they're not that creative yet. They're arguably not that creative now. I mean I just I just got done with Watch Underscore Dogs 2. It was it was very fun, but you can pinpoint the exact point where they completely ran out of ideas and were just like, eh. I guess we should wrap up this plot now. Do like literally Nolan North and Kari Walgren show up to just smarm at you? It's not quite that bad. It's pretty bad, though. I was well. I was gonna say like that's a selling point, though. Really. I guess. It's like hell. I would love to have more games where like just apropos of nothing, Nolan North and Kari Walgren just show up to be charming with one another and just like fucking interrupt whatever the hell is going on at that particular point. It's like Nolan North doesn't really show up as Nolan North anymore. That's that's really more Troy Baker's thing now. Nolan North shows up for the sole purpose of, like, showing up in the credits and you go, holy shit, that was Nolan North. Right, yeah, yeah, Nolan North gets to actually voice act now, instead of being Drake all the time. I, I'm, I'm now desperately trying to remember whether the last time I talked about this with somebody was in a recording, possibly of this LP, because I'm terrified that it might have been and I'm just about to make the exact same anecdote twice. But so what you're saying is you're going to repeat the anecdote to help drive it home. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Let's go to the gate then. I was gonna go old school Santa time and say, well, you know, if you've never like stable time loops are nothing new for Prince of Persia, so have at it. Best Hang on, are we really going here? Yes, we are. Hello, I'm Nine Gear Crow, and welcome to Let's Play Prince of Persia 2008. Joining me today are Artix and Fadul. Hey. Hi. I've been looking forward to this thread for ages. I'm sorry, I can't- I can't proceed with this joke. I don't know how- I- I can't go that deep into humor. It, especially because the prince is actually giving us, like, actual backstory now. Oh, 
they chose to die for someone else's cause. Whereas I'm going to die for enormous amounts of gold and carpets this thick. Is I don't... I think that actually... Is that the last we ever hear of his family? Uh, has he ta talked about his uncle yet? Okay, not yet. So we'll we'll probably get that one at some point soon. But, uh... But yeah, you see, you don't, we don't get a whole lot about his family other than that they died. And I think that's a little disappointing, all things considered. I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't like this, like, this idea that everyone needs to have their backstory explained. I like that it's, like, vague and hinted at. And, like, ag again, it's definitely not a thing that Ubisoft would do deliberately today, but, you know. And again, it, it does support the reading that, like, he is actually, like, nominally a prince, because, like, you know, you could interpret that as, like, yeah, like, his parents, like, the king and queen of whatever, like, nation that he's from, like, they went off to die, or to fight in, like, some some war. Oh, why would the king and queen go off to die? That's, like, the whole thing is getting other people to go off and die for them. Oh, maybe they're, like, you know, the, the kind of king and queen that, like, you know, like, you know, they're, like, men of the people or whatnot, and, like, uh... So yeah, they they left him in the care of his uncle, like the Grand Vizier or whatever, and like something 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 he ran away and became a vagabond and carpets this thick. I don't fucking know. the same instincts that led me into this mess. Law of averages. You've got to be right sometime. Arsh. Hey, well you've been wrong every other time so far, but eventually you've got to be right. <laughs> Wow, it would have it would have been so Ubisoft for those doors to just do the falling to the floor animation on top of thin air. I would totally have, have believed that. Consider me a little bit surprised. I'm pretty sure like we've seen at least one iteration of them like just falling the complete opposite way, like toward like towards the Prince and Elica just for no reason, so like we've already seen some like Ubisoft.txt uh like gravity and physics. Do they, do they actually have physics? I thought, I legit thought that was scripted. I don't know. It's, it, anyway, it's, it's not, it's not Ubisoft.jpg until somebody shows up without a face. <laughs> I don't know, I've still got that clip of Elika doing, like, the floating crucifix across, like, half of the Royal Gardens I'm gonna have to show eventually. Oh yeah, animation's not loading as a classic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, she basically, yeah, like, deloaded like midway through her jump, so that like she got just got stuck with her arms out at like ninety degree angles and just started sliding across the ground. It was amazing. And then there's the entirety of the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection, like, holy shit! Basically, what we're getting at here is that Ubisoft are really, really good at their jobs. <laughs> 